Hey guys, what's up? <coughs> Got a little rusty right now. Sorry. Anyways, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Giselle. I'm a personal trainer and I'm here to help you build a healthy, sustainable lifestyle. I'm going to be giving you guys five minute, quick and easy, high protein recipes for you to follow. I understand we're all busy and everyone's routine is so different. You may have work, you may have school, your kids. I don't know what you have going on, but I totally get it. Life be lifing sometimes and that's okay. And when it comes to convenience, something I want to say real quick before we get into the recipes is that I think a lot of times people make the mistake of waiting for a convenient moment for them to reach their goals. What do I mean by that? So like people wait for the perfect time, the convenient time to get their cardio in. You're waiting for that time to come up automatically for you to get your workout in. You can't wait for the convenient opportunity to come to you. You, you have to create the opportunity for you to reach your goals. So you have to create and plan it out plan out your meals plan out your snacks meal prep do what you have to do in order for you to get your protein in on a daily basis because if not then if you're just waiting for convenience all the time you're probably only going to reach your protein goal like twice a week although these snacks that i'm gonna show y'all are convenient for you you still have to create the convenience you get what i'm saying so yeah I really hope that you guys apply this because I can guarantee you the more you apply this and the more you understand this, the better. The more you're going to reach your goals. So I'm looking out for y'all. I want y'all to succeed. Let's go ahead and get into these recipes. We are making some pizza bagels. And when I tell y'all these curb my cravings for pizza... Like, I'm so serious right now because it tastes so good. So we use those bagel thins, okay? And we use this pizza sauce right here. Now you want to grab a fourth cup of that pizza sauce and place the sauce on all the bagels. You might have to grab a little bit more sauce for like the last bagel. Again, it really just depends on how many bagels that you have too, though. So for these four, I had to grab a little bit more, but it really just depends on how many you're having. So I am also adding this fat-free mozzarella cheese cheese and sprinkling that on there a fourth cup as well and i did use a fourth cup for two bagels so in total it's two fourth cups of um pepperoni i mean sorry of cheese and then we have the uh, turkey pepperoni and we're gonna go ahead and add that in there and it came out really good y'all you can also add some pepper flakes onto the pizza bagel so that it tastes even more yummy and has a little kick to it the second snack that we are making is tuna on cucumbers. I don't know what to call them, okay? But tuna on little cucumber pieces. So we're using aguacate, solid white albacore tuna, some tapatillo. Okay, very simple and easy to make. So you got to open up that can of tuna and then pour it in a bowl. Okay, dump it. And then you want to go ahead and cut half an avocado, mash it with a knife. That way it's you know easier, easier to mash in the bowl. I actually did have to grab another quarter because that avocado that I used was pretty tiny. So yeah, that was the tuna right there. And then you want to cut cucumber to about that size. I mean, everyone's different. You do what you want to do, but I like them not too thin, but not too thick either. It's just kind of in between. So then you're going to go ahead and add the tuna on each one and put some tapatillo on there for a little bit of kick and spice. And then boom, there you go. That's the snack that you will have. And I'm going to go ahead and put the macros and calories right here for you. It is so good, y'all. Not going to lie, this is one of my favorite snacks because it has a buffalo sauce and I love buffalo sauce. So you want to use boneless, skinless chicken breast. So it doesn't have to be rotisserie chicken. I did use the breast. So do whatever works for you, okay? And then you put four ounces on the scale. Shred the chicken. And you want to grab some Faye Greek yogurt, 0% fat. And I realized that I forgot to microwave the chicken before putting the yogurt. So I microwaved, microwaved it together. It was fine. I put buffalo sauce. This buffalo sauce is actually a lot healthier than others. So I recommend this one. It tastes just as good as regular. You're going to go ahead and mix it all together. You can add some parsley. You can add some onions. I mean, just whatever you like. And I did add some seasoning salt and paprika to it too. And I did add some fries on the side just to help me reach my carb intake for the day. You don't have to do that. You can also have this snack with some protein protein chips too. 
do whatever works for you and here are the macros for this buffalo chicken last but not least we got a tuna melt okay so we're gonna go ahead and grab some sourdough bread i've been getting into this type of bread lately because apparently it's better for your gut health if y'all have more information on sourdough bread let me know because i'm trying to see what the best brands are okay we're gonna use that star kissed tuna that we used for the other snack that i did in the previous clip and then dunk that in there bup, bup, bup. and then we're gonna go ahead and put some faye greek yogurt the same one that i used in the previous clips as well dunk that in there you're gonna put 1.5 ounces well i mean put however much you want but i put 1.5 ounces in there and then after that you're gonna use some seasoning salt paprika honestly i would say put a little bit more than i did i kind of didn't put enough and i think it would have tasted better we got mustard too mustard is actually like zero calories and then we're gonna go ahead and mix it put it in the toaster so you want to make sure that you put the tuna on the sourdough bread and then some fat-free mozzarella cheese on top okay and then you can put more spices on top if you want you can put sriracha i mean you know you can eat this in many different ways i just kind of ate it like that and here's the tuna melt it looks so good and it tasted really good you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and put the macros right over here and i hope y'all enjoy so how were the snacks did you like them did you not like them let me know in the comments down below i hope you guys try them out and i hope you guys do like them again these are high protein snacks these are quick and easy to make like you can make all of these snacks in like about 10 minutes i can guarantee you that if you start adding these snacks to your menu you're gonna see some serious gains because you are increasing that protein and you are making that convenience happen you are making that opportunity happen and that's what matters so i'm proud of you keep going and this is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it again please go ahead and comment if you tried the snacks or comment any video requests you may have let me know please make sure to like comment share subscribe turn on those post notifications so you get notified on your phone every time i upload a brand new video all right guys i'm so sleepy right now i don't know if you can tell but i really need to go to bed i get my seven and a half hours of sleep so see y'all in the next one bye